getting down to the wire here uh, the last uh, a uh, few items and uh, so um, uh, remember media controls and we've we've talked about them uh, different types of media having a media librarian and library having volume labels both uh, human and machine readable forms of that um, information um, particularly uh, the human readable uh, labels the date created date to be destroyed or uh, the retention period uh, who created uh, file name file version classification uh, and so having uh, media controls of different types uh, store all media securely again uh, possibly in a library possibly with a librarian uh, encrypt sensitive data and particularly backups um, track and control all media uh, label media internally and externally again you know uh, human and machine readable um, secure data if the the system or secure area is uh, is breached or, or has a problem. Uh, train users in proper media handling uh, and the policies. Uh, establish and train IT staff in uh, media transport and uh, handling. Um, so, uh, you know, Training, 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 training. Uh, now, um, data remnants. Um, at this point, um, it's it's rather ironic that, given the um, the tr time and trouble and effort that we put into uh, ensuring that. Our information is available, um, that it's uh, secure, that the integrity of the information is uh, proper, properly handled, uh, protected. Uh, all, all of these things that we we do, and and our backups and everything else. Um, when the time comes, and we. You know, talked about the retention period and uh, the you know destroying the information. When the time comes to destroy the information, it turns out to be remarkably difficult to ensure that yes, um, it is destroyed, uh, and in particular with regard to the media. Um, now, uh, tapes, we used to, it, it used to be uh, fine. Uh, tapes, uh, you could degauss them. Um, just, you know, a great big magnet um, and do it. And it, it was funny. Um, oh, one of the uh, computer languages. Uh, whew, I think it was Snowball. Anyway, um, the. Um, uh, CIA was interested in this and asked uh, for a tape of the language and uh, the inventors uh, duly sent it off uh, and the CIA uh, called them back up and said, well, you know, thank you for sending the tape, but uh, it was blank. And the guy said, well, it wasn't blank when it left us, but we'll send you another. So they sent another and CIA calls up and says, that one was blank too. And uh, somebody twigging to the fact that probably there was some policy about degaussing tapes leaving uh, the CIA uh, thought maybe uh, somebody in the mail room didn't completely understand the procedure. And so he said, well, we'll send you another tape. 
But when it comes in, will you please have someone receive it and, you know, manage it through your whatever kind of process you have for receiving tapes? And so the guys at the CIA agreed and uh, nothing further was heard. So, you know, it was very likely that they were not only degaussing outgoing tapes, but incoming tapes as well. Um, Anyways, uh, tapes were fine. Um, G uh, other types of things, I mean, hard disks. Um, oh, first of all, you know, on, on normal operating systems, uh, you know, like Windows, like DOS, um, when you uh, delete a file, you don't actually delete the file. Um, you just mark that space, the space that the, the file occupied, as available for use. And so it becomes available, it gets used. Um, the, but sometimes it doesn't get used for quite a while. And uh, I remember, um, oh, I made a mistake, I had a, a file that um, I updated fairly frequently um, that had uh, information that I did want to publish and information I definitely did not want to publish. And so when I had, uh, you know, updated the published version, I would take this file and I would, you know, delete all of the stuff that I did not want to publish. Well... Uh, in my hurry to do it one time, I uh, saved the clean copy over my original, which meant that I no longer had all the entries that I didn't want to publish, but which were still important. And so I, uh, knowing uh, what happened with this thing and the fact that I updated this fairly regularly, I went in with a sector editor, uh, searched for strings that I knew um, uh, were in the files, and uh, I recovered oh, about 20 partial copies of the file, and, and basically was able to recover the entire contents of the file that uh, I needed to, to work with. So, um, it, and and that was on a uh, an old computer with a small hard disk and extremely small disk space, uh, sorry, uh, slack space, unused space. And even there, I had, you know, uh, was able to, to recover all of this information. Now, um, so, uh, you know, that's just the operating system. Then we look at situations like uh, overwriting delete. But overwriting delete, um, if you go in with, uh, you know, uh, something that can read the magnetic fields on the disk, rather than just the operating system telling you something is not there. Um, it's, it's amazing. Um, 20 years ago, 25 years ago probably, um, a scanning, tunneling electron microscope um, could read back 32 overwrites of, you know, a bit or a file, you know, whatever you wanted to do. Um, it would, you know, be time consuming to do that, but you could do it. And uh, even 25 years ago, there were over a thousand of these machines in the United States. So this was not, you know, something that could not be accessed or, you know, that only nation state actors uh, would have access to. Um, so there's that. And then there's, um, you know, CDs and DVDs. And uh, they, uh, I mean, for the most part, um, can't be deleted, you know, once they're, they're written. Uh, and so physical destruction of, uh, well, both uh, hard disk 
platter and uh, CD or DVD. Um, and, and when I raise this in the seminars, a lot of people say, well, just put it in a, in a shredder. But the thing is that because of the information density, um, if you put a, a CD or a DVD in there, even the, the little rice sized pieces that a shredder may uh, cut it into still contain enormous amounts of contiguous data. And so it's uh, not going to be terribly difficult for somebody to uh, be able to retrieve an awful lot of information out of those things. So you put them in the microwave and, uh, you know, deal with it that way.